online session. So children, in our today's class, we are going to discuss with a new topic and the topic name is living things and non-living things. So children, in our surrounding, means in our atmosphere, we can see the living things and non-living things. There are many more types of living things and non-living things. So, the things which we can see, there are things which we cannot see in the surrounding. So, first we will discuss. So, the things present in the surrounding means near to us, they might be living things or non-living things around us. So, the things which are near to our surrounding, they might be the living things or non-living things around us. So, there are two different types of things. First one is living
not alive. So we call this manga as a non-living thing. So one more time I will repeat these two points. So there are two different things. First one living thing. Second one is non-living thing. So living things means the things which are alive, which has life. They are called as living things. Examples for living things are animals, birds, insects, human beings. These are the examples for living things. Next one is non-living things. Non-living things means which does not have life. In easy way we will tell which does not have life and they are not alive. They are called as non-living things. And examples for non-living things are chair, bus, tables, door, there are many more examples for non-living things. So children, in today's class, we had discussed about non-living things and living things. The meaning of living things with examples. And the meaning of non-living thing with examples. So I will ask you one question. So give me the five examples for non-living things. You should tell me the different non-living things examples. Yes, you are right. So chair, table, clothes, pencil, rubber, dustbin. There are many more examples for non-living are around us. Next question is children. Give me any four examples for living things. One more time I will repeat. Give me any four examples for living things which you know. Yes, you are right. Animals, birds, insects, Human beings, these are the examples for living things because they are alive and they have life. So we call them as living things. So children, this is all about living things and non-living things. In next class children, we will discuss 